So the way I'll usually set a tool like this up is I will tighten these bottom two bolts in. This block actually did not come split like this. I did that myself. I removed the set screws. You don't want to hold a bar like this with set screws. A round bar like this with internal mechanisms. You want to hold it with a full round profile, whether that means you use a split reducer sleeve and a block with set screws, but you don't want to clamp on the bar directly. These bars also have a range where you should and should not be clamping. They can actually be cut off in certain lengths if you want to shorten the bar for whatever reason, but there's a line on here and you do not want to be gripping it ahead of that line. And then as you can see here on these tools, there are serrations that actually interlock these heads so you can remove these screws and put a grooving head on here or a threading head. You might lose some length to diameter ratio when you go to a different style head like that because a grooving or threading operation is going to be more demanding than a turning operation. But getting coolant to them is important. Um, I actually counterboard this block to be able to put as short a connection as possible on here and then I just have an adapter over. This is actually sold by Sandvik as well, it's their coolant connection kit. But you see I still have some more bar here. You want to be holding by at least four times your bar length to diameter ratio. This is a one inch bar, you want to be holding by four inches. I don't have quite that much held, but that's the ideal. And that's pretty much it with these silent tools. Um, some of them, different manufacturers. I think Sandvik has some that can be tuned. But this one here, it's pretty much set it and forget it. And if you have the need for deep bores with good surface finishes, this finish here would be a little bit less tearing looking if I'd use coolant. But I did it without coolant just for the demonstration. But you can see it's still a very nice finish. Yeah, when you're installing inserts like this into a boring bar, you really do not want to over tighten these. If you have a little built in torque wrench, that's a good idea too. But if you're going to put torque on, I'm going until I just feel it stop. If you go any more and you break that little screw in there, really going to have a bad day, especially if you don't have any backups. Feels good. Oh, dropped it. That's lathe life. <laughs> 